Hey everyone, congratulations on making it to Friday. I'm Chris Brown. It's time for your week in review from ClarkCountyToday.com. Well, on Monday, we heard from the superintendent of the Richfield School District as they face uncharted waters. The district fell just short of 60% support for a $77 million building bond, which would have been phase three in their bid to address rapid growth in the area. Dr. Nathan McCann says he's disappointed but appreciative of the participation in the vote. As for how the district plans to address their population concerns, McCann says that will be a conversation for the board and for parents. The Port Vancouver Regional Library's Board of Trustees got an earful this week as dozens showed up to protest a recent Drag Queen Story Hour held at the downtown branch. Still, a handful of people supported the event, which the library's executive director said was meant to represent an often marginalized segment of our community. You can read our full story at ClarkCountingToday.com for both sides of the issue, then weigh in through the comments on our social media. A 16-year-old was shot and killed by Vancouver police officers this week, responding to reports of a fight between a male and female at apartments on Southeast Ellsworth Road. Officers said they encountered two males fighting in the parking lot. One refused orders to drop a knife and ultimately was shot in the chest. The teen has been identified as Clayton Joseph from Evergreen High School. Corporal Roger Evans, a 21-year Vancouver police veteran, is on critical incident leave. And Clark County Major Crimes is handling the investigation. Well, it's tax season and early results show people are getting smaller refunds than last year or owing when they didn't before. So we talked with a Vancouver CPA to find out what's causing the change and whether criticism of the president's tax cut by some is warranted. It's an interesting read and could inform how you adjust your tax withholdings this year if you want that check from the government in 2020. In sports, we started the week by interviewing all eight Clark County wrestlers who won state championships last weekend at the Tacoma Dome. Yes, eight of them. On Tuesday, the WIAA released the brackets for the state basketball tournaments. The first round, the state regionals are today and Saturday. Union and Battleground play each other tonight. Then Battleground High School will host four regional games, all featuring Clark County teams on Saturday. Check back at ClarkCountyToday.com for the results. And to preview state gymnastics, we brought you the story of Mac Ridgeway, who has a medical disorder, but that's no excuse. She is one of the top gymnasts in the state. And our feel-good story of the week, well, that belongs to the Conley family. Blake Conley, head coach of Union Boys Basketball, and his wife Christy welcomed their first child. Blake took a couple games off during the playoffs, but is expected to be back with the Titans tonight. Well, that's your week in review from ClarkCountyToday.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see when news stories are posted and be part of the conversation. You can also send us news tips via email, news at ClarkCountyToday.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend, everyone. We'll see you next week.